26th of August, 2021, and thank you for watching the Calvary Briefing. This past summer, I had the opportunity to do a lot of reading, and there were a lot of articles and a lot of authors that really caused me to sit up straight in my chair and do some thinking and some searching in my own soul of what my relationship with Christ is all about. And one of those authors was a woman by the name of Susan Lafferty. And Susan Lafferty was a missionary's, a missionary wife in Southeast Asia for many years. And she now lives in the United States and she does a lot of writing and blogging. And the article that grabbed my attention this summer was entitled, Do You Want to Seem Holy or Be Holy? And the idea is that oftentimes it's easier to seem holy than it is to be holy. And she asks many probing questions. Do you want to seem like a good husband or be a good husband? Do you want to seem like a good employee or be a good employee? And then at the beginning of her article, she gives this Admonition, don't be guilty of the sin of seeming. Don't be guilty of the sin of seeming. We know that Jesus was very much against hypocrisy. Over the three years of his earthly ministry, he calls out religious hypocrites over and over again. And he doesn't really use kind, gentle language. He calls hypocrites blind fools, whitewashed tombs, blind guides, and snakes. And he said this to people who knew the religious law backwards and forwards. They knew it well, but they missed the truth, and they wanted to seem righteous and to seem good without being righteous, without being good. In Matthew 23, Jesus said, On the outside you seem righteous to people, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Well, what about you? What about me? Do we want to seem righteous or be righteous? In the book of Revelation, chapter 3, there's a church. And the church is in a place called Sardis. And the words of Jesus to this church pointed to the fact that they were a church that had a layer of veneer on the outside. Sometimes when we want to cover something up that is not pleasant to look at, we put some veneer over it. And the church in Sardis had a layer of veneer. Jesus said to this church, I know your works. You have the reputation for being alive, but you are dead. Now, this is a church that looked alive, but they were actually dead. And Jesus goes on to say, I have found your works complete, for I have not found your works complete before God. We know that we can have a veneer around us. A few weeks ago, I had one of the most encouraging conversations I've ever had at Calvary Church. I was walking around on a Sunday morning and we were talking to several people and started out conversations like I start them out a lot of times with the question, how are you? How are you? This person stopped for a moment and looked in my eyes and said, really? And I said, really? How are you? And they shared with me that on that particular day, They were not doing all that well. They didn't feel all that great. Some circumstances in their lives, in their life was kind of getting them down. That was so encouraging to me. And I pray that at our church, at Calvary Church, we become more and more real in that way. Do you want to seem alive or be alive? (laughs) I want to be alive. I don't want to just seem alive. We can also fall into the trap of 
living a facade, seeming to be what we're not. Sometimes we can rely on our past experiences in our walk with God, and we can neglect being active in our relationship with God right now. We can fall into all sorts of spiritual traps when we live a life that is a facade that seems to be something that really isn't. Do we want to seem or do we want to be? During a season of keeping up appearances, Susan Lafferty wrote about a conference that she attended with her parents. And at this conference, one of the speakers was using scripture. And instead of opening his Bible all the time and reading from the Bible, this person had vast amounts of scripture memorized and could just recite those pieces of scripture. The truth of that cut to Susan Lafferty's heart And she knew that in John's gospel, Jesus calls us to abide in him. And that we do that by having his word in us. And so she came away from that conference saying, I no longer wanted to seem obedient to Christ. I wanted to be obedient. In the book of 1 Peter, we, are, we read these verses, as obedient children, do not be conformed to the desires of your former ignorance, but as the one who called you is holy, you also are to be holy in all your conduct, for it is written, be holy because I am holy. God is holy. He is other than us. There's no sin. There's only purity in God. And he calls us to that kind of a life. Be holy because I am holy. Well, I ask you today, on the 26th of August, 2021, do you want to seem holy or do you want to be holy? Really, what about you?